I'm actually more used to projecting my voice over an audience and not using a mic, but I'll, I'll use the mic because that way you can all hear me. All right, my name is Ben Planton, and I'm the president of the South Central Indiana Association for the Education of Young Children. Most of my prep for this talk went into saying that, right? Um, I also highly encourage you all to uh, take the lessons of the geek, raising a geek talk. Um, so when I, I was young, I read a lot of science fiction, I read a lot of fantasy, and I wanted to be a hero when I grew up. And it turns out that being a hero is actually a lot harder than it seems when all you read is science fiction and fantasy. So I went to school, I got a degree in political science, I worked for the Kerry campaign, I worked for a labor union, and I found myself doing good work, but something was missing. There, were, there was a, a big piece that wasn't there. And then I became a hero. I started working with young children, uh, zero to five. And not only did they treat me like I was a hero every day that I came into work, but I was doing things every day that was making a lifelong impression on them. And I thought, so, there's someone out there who's gotta be saying this with like research. And I found Dr. James Heckman, who's won the uh, Memorial Prize in Economics from the, the Nobel Foundation. Um, and he's done over a decade worth of research that says this, when you invest in early childhood education, you develop the necessary skills a person needs for life, and you sustain some investment throughout their education, the society as a whole gains. So who's listening to him? President Obama, Hillary Clinton, the US Chamber of Commerce, the Federal Reserve, um, RAND Corporation, Public Policy Forum, uh, Princeton, Harvard, lawmakers. There's all of a sudden, within the last year, a lot of people listening to this overwhelming amount of evidence. And the important thing about this is that most of these people who are listening usually cannot agree on anything. Uh, you know, President Obama and the Chamber of Commerce agreeing on something is quite a big step in the right direction. So the numbers say that there are short-term gains that you see immediately and there's long-term gains that you see, I mean, for the rest of uh, a child's life. And these gains affect children, their families, and their communities as a whole because we're talking about crime. Um, the children and families that are influenced by high quality early childhood will be less likely to commit crimes, less likely to engage in substance abuse, less likely to spend time in jail as a result, which means savings. Um, you see much, much huge improvements in education. You see higher uh, high school graduation rates, less special education, less likely to repeat grades, more likely to go to college, and they do better on achievement tests. And as a result, they do better in life. They're more likely to own homes, they're more likely to earn a living wage, they're more likely to have a savings account, and less likely to ever need welfare assistance. Whew. All right, so then you have job training for you employers out there. Um, the children who attended high quality early childhood centers will be better at problem solving skills, they'll have better language, better communication, they'll learn and adapt quicker, they pick up new skills. Um, gonna go um, so health, you see lower rates of heart disease, lower cases of obesity, less trips to the emergency room, and the children and families will be less likely to smoke. So across every single area of life, high quality early childhood makes a difference. Two years ago, there was pretty much nothing at all going on locally in terms of um, organizing. We had wonderful centers, wonderful homes in town, but there was no organization, there was no conference, there was no one um, lobbying or doing any, any kind of community building. Now we have the South Central chapter of the Indiana Association for the Education of Young Children, which I can actually get out of my mouth, um, of which I am the, the president of, and we're having our second annual conference Next month, uh, September 21st at Ivy Tech Bloomington, we have just about 50 presenters um, who will be doing talks from neuroscience. We have people coming in from other states, and we're hoping to have two to 250 different people at the conference. Um, we're working with Monroe County Smart Start, which is part of United Way and the Community Foundation. They're pumping some money into uh, at-risk children, so they're opening new centers through the school system. And the biggest thing that, to say here is that investing in early childhood is better than investing in the stock market. Seven to 10% annual return on investment for, per dollar because 
across the community, across everything, I make a difference every day. I, I am able to be the hero that I always wanted to be by what I do. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs>